Hello to all. My name is Peter, CT7AHV. And this is the, the first video. I want to begin a series of uh, various antennas modeling based on software for NEC2 or EasyNEC. I, I use both. Uh, today I will model an end-fed multiband antenna uh, in the different shapes, different positions. As you know, uh, the end-fed multiband antenna uh, is fed with a transformer of uh, 49 to 1 or six, four, 64 to 1 or even 75 to 1 in the case of 160 and 80 meters uh, end fed antenna okay let's start first when we open for neck 2 we will have a simple light pole on free space okay I will create a new antenna now and I will save with the name end fed antenna uh, video now I don't have nothing okay I will add a symbol uh, of 8 age for weight uh, of um, 15 meters I will first model the antenna in sloper position because it's the first option the most hams uh, have and the length of wire of 40 meters this antenna antenna is to work on 80 meters and above okay so this is half wavelength for 80 meters okay i just have this age equal to uh, 15 meters and l equal to 40 meters okay i will put a wire tag one segments i will use uh, 20 segments x10 uh, y10 z1 h which is 15 meters here length it is the 40 meters zero and uh, above the ground I will put uh, on the other extreme of the antenna I will put uh, 4 meters I will use a wire of 2 millimeters diameter so uh, one the radius is 1 millimeter okay I got an error now we begin to see our antenna okay it is in sloper position I have this end on with uh, 15 meters and this end with 4 meters okay we have here a wire of 41.485 meter I will add the counterpoise tag 2 with the 5 segments 0, 0, H now 5% uh, the counterpoise should be 5% of the lowest frequency so 5% of 80 meters is 4 meters now age minus 4 and I will use also a 2 millimeter 
wire this is the radius one millimeter okay here is our counterpoise now I will add the source on wire one segment one okay that's it frequency first I will start on 3.7 real ground okay very well now one important thing uh, we will not uh, have a, a very deep look at SWR but for uh, some proposals we will change the impedance of our antenna we will use a 49 to 1 uh, transformer, 49 to 1 UNU. So will be 200, uh, 2450 ohms. Okay, let's see. Now I will run. Okay. I see here a uh, uh, SWR 4.1. I will just do a quick optimize. Okay, it's good enough. 37.38 Okay, save. Okay, good. Now let's see. Okay. One 0.5 SWR. Okay, it's good enough for our purpose. What we can see here, we see that our uh, radiation, our antenna pattern, is all sky above. It has some gain. It has a gain of 4.36 dB is a good gain but it is a very vertical angle this antenna is good to work on 80 meters uh, for NVIS for short contacts um, for example contacts between 100 and uh, uh, 300 me uh, kilometers up to 500 kilometers, no more than that. You can't do the X with this uh, high angle. If you look here at 30 degrees, we have minus 1 dB at 15 dB and 15 degrees. We have minus uh, four and a half dB this is not a good on 80 meters for the X. Let's have a look on 40 meters. So 7.1 megahertz generate. So here we have a better gain. 4.30 6 dB at 40 degrees is better at uh, 15 degrees we have about uh, half dB at, at 30 degrees we have uh, almost 4 dB is not bad but we have this low uh, uh, this pattern here a little higher 
we can see in 3D format. Okay, let's see, this is our antenna in the field. Okay, now we will add the pattern. Do you see? Is not a good performer also for do long distance contacts. Let's have a look on 20 meters. Fourteen point two generate. Look this. This is a distorted pattern. We have some gain, yes. Six point forty four dB to this side, to this direction. But look at this. This is from top view from the antenna, we can see here, again, look at this, look, for sure this is a compromised antenna, it is a multiband, but a compromised antenna, in this shape, now let's see on uh, 15 meters, 21.3 oh, sorry oh. 31.4 uh, 0.3, sorry well seven and a half db at uh, 14 degrees is good but look at this pattern this level here this doesn't look very good now let's see on 28.4 Okay, look at this. 5.7 at 10 degrees is not bad, but look at this. Okay, now and if we change the shape to a inverted L, uh, let's see how it goes for now I will remove the counterpoise I will put uh, a vertical segment of uh, 15 meters like this and look this first section a vertical second uh, second uh, section sloper let's see what happens ah and the uh, counterpoise of course here is two three five zero 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 uh, four meters zero 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 one millimeter okay let's look looks good 
we have a counterpoise on the ground it will give an error but it will uh, show uh, the pattern correctly just the SWR will be a little different from the real world but no problem let's see on 80 meters generate okay okay it will not allow me so no problem we will uh, give here uh, 0 0.1 0 0.1 0 0.1 okay we still have a cloud warmer on 80 meters not good for the X but at least at uh, 45 degrees we now have a uh, not attenuation not no gain and no attenuation is half and half <laughs> okay let's see on 40 meters looks better what do you say plus 1 db is not a high gain but it looks like a mushroom has a better uh, definition of the radiation pattern of the antenna okay if we look okay it looks like a dipole it looks pretty much like a dipole let's see on 20 meters it's not very good but we have some gain on 27 degrees we have 3.23 degrees of gain is not uh, a very def uh, defined pattern but it will work it will work sorry it's not this I want to do I want to have a 3d view Can you see the antenna shape, the vertical section and the sloper section and the radiation pattern is not uh, uh, is uh, parallel to the antenna uh, different from the dipole. Let's see on 15 meters. look at this not good we don't want this look this ugly shape let's find out on 28.4 on 10 meters look at this <laughs> it is not good not good at all wow so I d I'm doing this uh, to show you that this is a real compromise antenna the radiation the pattern uh, radiation of this antenna is not good on the harmonics where the antenna resonates uh, 
the antenna will show a low SWR and will work but will not work great you can do contacts you can listen uh, to uh, the X stations but it will not perform the best you can have okay now I will show you um, one shape that worked better for me when I was the first time to Mozambique and uh, I had only a few uh, conditions to operate and I used an L inverted L to 40 meters and above and uh, it will work better now we will forgot we will forget the 80 meters we go to 40 meters and above okay we will have a 10 meter pole fiberglass pole Okay, now we have an inverted L antenna. I will, I will change here just for view purposes. Okay, the, the counterpoise. Okay, now we have a vertical section. We can hold easily with a fiberglass mast, a telescopic one and we have a horizontal section that we can hold on a tree okay i want to show you what will happen well seven uh, i will just do a quick optimize for viewing purposes Okay, it's good enough. 10.82. Let's see 40 meters. Look at this mushroom shape. It's good. We have some gain about... Uh, 50 degrees we have almost 2 dB of gain okay let's look at 3D shape the pattern look at this just like a dipole but the vertical section of the antenna this this vertical section of the antenna will uh, provide us a lowest uh, angle a lower angle sorry a lower angle the vertical section of the antenna will provide a lower angle and then the horizontal shape the horizontal section will provide us some gain okay so the vertical section give us uh, some lower angle and the horizontal shape will give us um some gain it looks like this a, sim a simple dipole but we are talking about 
10 meter above the ground. You can't reach this with a dipole 10 meter above the ground. With a dipole 10 meter above the ground, we, you will also get uh, a cloud warmer. Okay, so let's see at 20 meters. Look at this. 27 degrees, 4.6 dB. This is good. This is a good shape. We have a RDF of 88.54 is good. And look at this. Let's see a 3D. We have our antenna. Let's add the pattern. Look. Do you see this? Now we have a, le a less compromised antenna working better for the X. For the X, uh, uh, just to remember, for the X we need the lowest angle possible. Okay, let's see at uh, 50, 50 meters, 15 meters. Is not so defined, but we have about it, uh, 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 20 degrees, we have uh, 4.25 dB gain. But the shape of the pattern uh, begins to um, distort. We have now four edges. Uh, will begin to distort is not so well performer we will have a 3d look look at this a bit ugly okay and uh, to end this shape, let's have a look at 10 meters. We have here a higher angle gain at 46 degrees. 3.35 dB and here at, at uh, 16 dBs we have a 2.72 dB and also we have the four edges uh, the distortion of the pattern so With this shape, conclusion, the best shape to archive the X. First, you need to forget 80 meters on your end fed antenna. Second, you must install your antenna in a L, inverted L. It will provide the best possible angle radiation and the lowest um, angle possible third we will have less performance on 10 meters and 15 meters but 40 and 20 will work great for a multiband compromise antenna it will be less compromised okay 
So this is the first video of a series of uh, antenna modeling. Uh, give me your comments, subscribe to my channel, tell me what do you think. Uh, of course, all antennas work when the propagation is good, but when the propagation is not so good uh, is where we can see uh, what is a good antenna and what is a bad antenna. Okay, 73, thank you for watching. I hope you like it and uh, give me your comments. Tell me what do you think.